Hey y'all, what's going on? Welcome to Blade of Sorcery Nomad and welcome to John Devil's VR. We're gonna solve a huge problem that as someone who has a MacBook and who loves to mod Blade of Sorcery Nomad to make the game even better, it really hurts my soul that there's a lot of people out there play Blade of Sorcery Nomad but don't have the opportunity or believe they don't have the opportunity because they can't find a clear cut and concise video to teach them just how to mod Blade of Sorcery Nomad because you don't have a PC and you know what it's just it's just not fair today in this video listen closely because every Blade and Cersei Nomad brethren and Mac sisterin sisterhood all of y'all should be treated equally is this not YouTube so sit back relax grab some tea if you're over 21 a mimosa because who doesn't like mimosas and I'm gonna show you now step one understanding what you will need in order to download these mods first thing that you you will definitely need to make this mod work is an Android file transfer which I will leave down below in the description you need this because the quest 2's are set up to use PCs it is what it is it is, it is what it is we need to have a file transfer software bring the quest 2 system itself onto the MacBook Pro slash air I'll leave it down below in the description for you guys go download it and install it the second thing you'll need is a developer's account and we'll get into that too the third thing you need is a Nexus mods account and the fourth thing that you will need is a power cord for your quest 2. Luckily being on a MacBook at the moment, if you have any MacBook Pro from a 2019 and you have that stupid little bar on your computer, chances are you probably also have USB-C ports in your computer. If you don't have one, down below in the description I'll also leave an Amazon link to a adapter for you guys. And the fifth thing that you will definitely need is the Quest app on your phone. And one thing you should probably do while this video is going on, I'll leave every mod that you've seen thus far down below in the description. You guys can follow along with that okay and on to step two here's a quick tip when you're trying to download mods in order to access all the software needed you cannot be on a guest account on the macbook pro and or air or desktop you have to be on a main account on with the video now on to step two setting up developer mode now the setup will consist of three different parts the first part setting up a developer account on the website so what you're going to want to do on your computer is go to metaquest.com slash developer click the link for developer mode setup and follow the individual steps that it gives you to create an account to make your life as simple as possible make your developer account organization the same as your quest gamer tag it makes it very simple in the future if you decide to create different organizations as a developer pause the video right here follow those steps that the website gave you and then once you have that set up come on back so then you can keep up with the video you good to go great onto the cell phones the second part connecting and accessing developer mode on your phone off of the quest app so what you're going to want to do first is open up the app the second thing that you want to do find the menu option in the bottom right side of the screen once you're there click on the devices icon and then make sure that your quest 2 is connected to the app if it's not click on sync devices make sure that your quest 2 is connected to your wi-fi and so is your phone your device should pop up pretty quickly as a search result click on that and then your device is connected to your phone what you want to do at this point is scroll down to developer mode click on it and then quickly just tap the switch turn it blue and at that point it is set up on your phone and the third thing that you need to do is hop into the quest to itself and turn on developer mode so what you're going to want to do is come over into your settings go into your system scroll down until you get to developer and just right here turn on developer mode it will pop up blue when it's on once that's been done restart it once the system reboots you'll be completely set up for developer mode on your quest 2. step three actually doing it all the heavy lifting has been completed we get to get into the best part of modding blade anniversary nomad mod shopping okay so what you guys are gonna want to do is go to nexusmods.com next you're gonna want to create your own account on nexus mod it is free to do so you will get a prompt while setting up the account to pay for a subscription of some sort you can just hit the X button in the top right corner it is completely free to use nexus mod so don't be concerned about any cost to you once that's been completed head into the search bar and type in 
blade and sorcery. Make sure that when you type in blade and sorcery, you're also using the ampersand because the game will not be recognized on Nexus mod without it being exactly how it is in IRL. There's a little tab with an arrow on the search bar that says mod. You're going to want to click on that tab and change it to games. Hit search on that guys. So what should have come up when you typed in Blade and Sorcery, two games in the bottom left corner popped up. Choose the Blade and Sorcery Nomad option. The mod will not work otherwise if you choose the wrong game. Once the game is chosen, y'all can scroll through the collection of mods that are on the game. Note that some mods do require other mods to be able to function properly. Once you have the mod of choice, go up to the top of the screen, click on manual. That'll bring you right to the download section. You're going to want to click on manual download. Once that is downloaded, stop. This next step will require Android file transfer software that I told you guys to download in the beginning of the video. If you do not have this yet, go download this right away because you will not be able to transfer over the mods that you just downloaded onto your computer into the Quest 2. So make sure you guys go do that right now. Okay, what you're going to need to do is connect your Quest 2 using your power cord to your computer. You get a little prompt in the Quest 2 once you connect the power cord to the computer and the Quest asking you to allow this device. Hit allow and it will connect automatically. Now on my computer, generally, once I connect my Quest to my computer, the Android file transfer software automatically pops up. However, this might not be the case for you and if it's not, just simply go into the spotlight search on your computer, type in Android file transfer, click on it and it'll pop right up. So what you're going to want to do next, click on data and then scroll all the way down to the bottom until you guys find Warp Frog Blade and Sorcery. Click on that. Click on files and then you're going to want to click on mods. Once mods is open, all you have to simply do is drag the downloaded mod file into the Quest 2. And once that's completed, close the software on your computer, restart your Quest 2 and voila, you have your mod in Blade and Sorcery Nomad. Let me explain to you guys common problems that you will run into while modding Blade and Sorcery Nomad and how to solve those problems as well. Walk with me for a second. So a common problem while modding is that with some mods, you'll have a problem where the game just doesn't want to load. The game said, no, nope, Top G, you're not going to get to play with this mod. And you freak out and say, hey man, that's not fair. John's World VR said this should work. Here's what you do in that situation. 99% of the time, the common fix would be just to uninstall the mod and then re-download the mod. Okay, you guys, and on that note, I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good time modding. Always don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on this video if you guys need any help hit me up on discord hit me up on youtube whichever is easiest for you and yeah guys that was john world vr i'll see you in the next one guys later